What's up, people? Today we're going to be learning Action Script 3. This is going to be our first tutorial. Just going to do something basic and display Hello World text to an output window. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go to Create New Flash File Action Script 3. Pretty basic so far. You want to We'll just create a square for now. And label it square. Because we want to be organized. This is just going to prove a point to action script to users later. Now the first thing you want to do is again organization. It will help you a lot while coding. So create a new layer. AS3 and you just put all your code in this keyframe so to get to your code go to window actions you can also press F9 now I usually dock it by just dragging docking we'll keep it kinda loose for now over here so the first thing you'll notice is this area where you write your code so like trace or hi there that's not really code but you get the point it's where you write it um... don't worry about these buttons they're really stupid i don't ever use them nor should you cause like here let me show you what is apply a line comment watch this I just did it now let's see them do it whoa very pointless so anyways there's that let's move to the left here we got all the reference and keywords used in in action script 3 you could look up any keyword in any class it'll be here so and there's a lot like this will create more so much more anyways then down here you have your current frame you are in we're in layer AS3 keyframe 1 now in action script 2 you could click on objects and write code in there this was a very poor programming technique and so in action script 3 watch this current selection cannot have actions applied to it they got rid of it because it was dumb so that's a good thing another thing you should be very wary of is where you're putting your code so right, right now we're in square frame 1 but what we don't want to be in is square frame 1 we want to be in action script 3 frame 1 so yeah be wary of that because new programmers always put their code in random places and they either get confused about where it is or they just start freaking out in general so yeah don't do that you've been warned we're going to dock this here and write our first action script 3 code. Trace, opening brackets, quotation, hello world, end quotation, end bracket, and semicolon. Just, look, just looking at this, we see that um, you always have to end your statement with a semicolon. You always have to put your text in quotations that you want to like say or output. Like if you're reading a book, what you're saying is going to be in quotations. Same here applies. And that's it. So let's run it. To run it, you go to Control, Test Movie creates a separate output window that will say hello world 
It's not going to show up in here, sadly, because it's not, a, it's actually not a class. There's a special class for that called, um, the text class. We'll learn later. But, um, for now, it just outputs to here. It's usually used for finding values in your program. But that's about it. So, this program is not the most complicated program. It's actually the most simple program you could ever create. Um, but you gotta start somewhere, guys. I mean, it's pretty basic, but I mean, you always have to start at the basic level. So we're gonna create another, call it second line. Same exact format with the quotes and the semicolon. And control enter, or you could just press that. Either way, it's just faster. Now what this shows is kind of important. Well, at least an important concept to understand. As you can see, I traced Hello World first, and then I traced Second Line, Second. And it also output in that same order. And it's kind of important because that's exactly how it's going to execute. It's going to ex execute in a linear fashion. Whatever you write first, it's going to execute that first, and second, second, third, third, etc. So, that's about it. It's a pretty simple first tutorial. So, uh, I hope you understood it. If you got lost, uh, message me on my AIM or MSN or email me. And we'll try and work it out.